Hello and welcome to episode 166 of WITM. It is time for Fastlane, the go-home pay-per-view for Raw and 205 Live, the final pay-per-view period before the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania 35. And by virtue of his non-title victory on 205 Live, Andrade Almas has indeed earned himself a cruiserweight title match against Andrew jumping from the third spot to the number one contendership and so Andrew will defend that cruiserweight championship against Andrade Almas here at Fastlane but first let's get these other matches started to kick off Fastlane we have Big E and Xavier Woods representing the New Day defending the Raw Tag Team Championships against Matt and Jeff the Hardy Boys, the real-life Raw Tag Team Champions. And it will be, as in real life, the Hardy Boys, your new Raw Tag Team Champions. Next, we have a random six-man tag. It's Team Hype Bros, along with The Miz, taking on Team Enzo and Cass, along with Luke Harper. And it will be Team Hype Bros with a victory. Rivals in real life, rivals in WITM as well. Former best friends, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho in a non-title match. And it's going to be a victory for Kevin Owens. And we have somewhat of another random match up here. Since all the other tag teams are in action, it's going to be Raw versus 205 Live. The club of Raw take on hashtag DIY of 205 Live and NXT and it's going to be a victory for DIY. Bailey defends her Raw Tag Team Championship against the boss Sasha Banks and will remain Raw Women's Champion. And now it's time for our episode 166 match and the final one of this package. Andrew makes his first defense of his second WWE Cruiserweight title, third Cruiserweight title overall, if you count the ECW title that he never lost. Against Andrade C. and Almas, the man that defeated him just 24 hours ago in the main event of 205 Live with the flatline. And I want to make a correction. The flatline is indeed Andrade Almas' finishing move as well. I'm sure it's called something different, but. So he didn't steal the move. That just happens to be his finisher too. So it's flatline versus flatline. Which one is going to lead a man to a victory and heading into WrestleMania as Cruiserweight Champion? Let's find out. Andrew defends his Cruiserweight Championship against Andrade C. and Almas. This is a hardcore Falls Count Anywhere match. And our song for this pay-per-view is the Real Life Fast Lane 2017 song. Watch this by Will Roush. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. I can't wait. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. I've been waiting for this matchup. Come on, ring the bell. <laughs> In my zone, I got this, I'ma do it all alone. I don't need your help, I do it on my own. I got this, cause I be in my zone. Somebody watch this, I got this. Man, everybody watch this, I got this. Man, somebody watch this, I got this. Man, everybody watch this, cause I be in my zone.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing the champion from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Weighing in at 150 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Andrew. Wow, this amazing crowd is in for one hell of a match. And in case you're wondering, yes, Andrade Almas is under... 205 pounds I checked and he's wrestled on 205 live before I believe um just whoever made that creative version and was done to us too Tony alright so here we go who's going into Wrestlemania the cruiserweight champion and we're underway. let's find we're out it's two, Andrew versus Andrade Almas that cruiserweight championship on the line a big match here with so much gold on the line by Andrew two superstars going head to head I big DDT it. and another thing nothing matters except Stomp the fact to the that back. a title is there for the taking we'll have to see which and one of Andrew these competitors no can take care of vintage business. Andrew here the Andrew stomps oh, you think he feels stomping away at every feel part of the body in the morning. of yeah, Andrade Olmos guys let's briefly discuss now, the champion doesn't get any bigger what can we expect from the champion? take advantage of the hardcore stipulation. This is a false count anywhere. Hardcore match. He's Andrew has a sledgehammer. Oh, but Almas reverses it. Head That's scissors by Almas. He's got the arm bar locked in. Arm bar locked in. Pulling back on that arm of Andrew. But Andrew quickly breaks the hold. And punches away to head of Almas. But some damage done to that arm. Nicely done. Elbow strike. Low sweep by Andrew. Will he make very quick work of Almas? Left. No, You're he right. piles out of one. 
and stomps well, Amos well, down. Well, well. Now a kick That's to the, the first knee. Time we've seen that move. Andrew I mind seeing it a little more often. attacking he the ankle of Amos. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. And Michael, this might very well Andrew be one of these to guys. To the apron, wants Amos on his feet. Well, it's hard to argue that. Take flight. But I'd say this one could go either way. And connects. Now stomping away at Amos. Now why did he do that? How's Andrew like in a seated position? Block. Drop it's kick a, Andrew a vein. If you ask me, he's totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees the belt, he likes to hit below it. Our stripper to the corner. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? He's Andrew in some serious with a stunt pain here. Pulling pulling back on the legs of, leg of Almas. We've seen that from a knuckle I mean, bearing down on the tonight. head this of Armas. And a stomp to the arm. He'll be Huge knockout blow to Armas. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. Reversal. A bad place to be for the challenger. It appears his opponent down. has his number right now. Forces Armas to his feet. And Michael, this could be the opening he needs to now pull attacking in. When it the comes to respect, and the ankle. you have to like what you're seeing tonight inside that ring, Michael. I love it. He saw that one coming. Forces Armas to his feet. He's got to be vigilant Huge DDT on the head of Armas down to the, the canvas. Reversal by Armas with a power slam. The champ counters and you by see Andrew. the result. That may be the first Andrew. time we've seen that executed. Here's a punch to the head of Amos. Look at the attack here. Oh man, talk about a direct hit. And ankle lock. The ankle lock. Vintage Andrew a ankle lock locked in. It's in a ring. Nowhere to go. Whoa. But Amos breaks the hold with his one free leg. That was an impressive suplex. Suplex. And Amos. Taunting the WWE Universe and Andrew. Expanding the repertoire. And another move. suplex. Forces Andrew to his feet. Our trip into the corner. Right and sends the head of Andrew flying to that steel post. And he felt it. Andrew reverses. Our whip. Sends Andrew to the apron. Oh, no. Now outside. Remember, it says Paul's count anywhere. Almost taunting the WWE Universe and Andrew. Now we we'll join Andrew outside. Or, we not yet, he's on the apron. The now ring. now he joins no Andrew outside, and we get that ringside camera kicking in. Our trip into the barricade. The champ Lifts Andrew up on top here. of the barricade. Now he gets back into the ring. And seen his fair share of Looking for a high WWE. risk. Towards the top rope. He's going to dive outside onto Andrew. And, on top of that, he's been and a lot of diving elbow drop connects to the match. back of Andrew. You have to wonder what the and stomp to the back. Guys, come on, let's not get too crazy here. Now almost We've fighting his time. We've seen that he can absorb a heck of a lot of punishment and still keep coming. Taunting Andrew. Action outside the ring. Real dangerous out here. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Power slam outside to that thing canvas outside the ring. The challenge of my championship dreams are fading quickly. You might just have nothing left to give, guys. Swinging neck breaker. But I'm willing to bet things will turn around for us to get to the hip. Focus on staying inside the now ring. Andrew working the arm. Hammer and chin lock locked in. He's absolutely relentless here. Almost breaks the hole. Oh my God, it's been good for cover. One. Yeah, the shoulders up now. That's a kick out. Andrew nice. powers out at two. He simply refuses to stay down. Working the midsection there. The finality kick of this environment is so apparent, King. I don't know about that, by but this area is so, so dangerous. Reversal by Almas. Forces Andrew to his feet. Elbow strike. Oh, I think this man Suplex into the like LED board. Kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. He's in full-on attack mode now. And a punch. Now almost back into the ring. Like Again, looking, like his entire taking face. high risk to the top rope. Looking dive outside on the Andrew. Whoa! I mean, 
and just plunges himself straight down onto Andrew. Nice move there by Amos. Huge bulldog though is going to bust open Amos. Start to the back. Now mounted punches through that play he had a moment. Just watch that insult injury. Yeah, this guy's a mean streak. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive? Blood really flowing now on the face of Almas. Forces Andrew to his feet. There's no telling what's going to happen. Big power bomb, but Almas is one stamina can capitalize. Now attacking the ankle band, slamming it down. And the action could not be contained inside that ring. Reversal by Andrew. Oh, look at the emotion. Andrew firing up the WWE Universe. He gets out of trouble. Reversal there. by Almas, sending Andrew into that steel post. To the head right there. DDT right there. by Almas. Firing up the WWE Universe. And taunting Andrew. Stomp to the arm. Reversal by Andrew. And the DDT. Reversal by Olmos. Stomp to the head. That kick connects. Drop what kick to the head of Andrew. Stomp. This guy's kicks kick to the so back. And sure stomp. We might be seeing the beginning of the end. And big power bomb by Olmos. No one's stamina can capitalize. Goes for cover. We have a new cruiserweight champion. No, Andrew powers out at two and Olmos in disbelief. He thought he was about to walk out of fast lane cruiserweight champion. Reversal by Andrew. Andrew looking for the flat line. And it connects. Andrew not following it up with a pin. Now he'll go for the cover. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Does Andrew remain cruiserweight champion? Yes, he does. Andrew, still your cruiserweight champion. He will go into WrestleMania. Still your cruiserweight champion. So Andrew, good back and forth match. But Andrew's first. Out of the way. Time for the fast lane main event singles match on tap next. We have Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar. Andrew's first cruiserweight championship is defense is a successful one, and now Brock Lesnar defends his universal championship against Dean Ambrose in no holds barred match. I remember, Dean Ambrose is the Royal Rumble winner. So, if Dean Ambrose wins, that'll make things interesting. If he loses, and that means we're likely to see a rematch of Lesnar and Ambrose for the Universal title in the main event of WrestleMania. And Dean Ambrose, the Royal Rumble winner, does become Universal Champion. So, pretty much no, <laughs> the Royal Rumble victory negated. He'll take on Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Or, not necessarily Brock Lesnar, but he will defend the Universal title in the main event of WrestleMania. Alright, so that does it for 
this package of DVDs. And the next package, it is The Road, or we're already on The Road WrestleMania, but it, our next pay-per-view is WrestleMania. Right there. Also, a week before that, we have NXT TakeOver London. The Three Stages of Hell series between Corey and Andrew will take place on one of those two events. I'll discuss with Andrew where it should take place. will likely be at WrestleMania. And this next package will just be a one-month package. Will It will be NXT TakeOver London and WrestleMania. So, before we wrap up this package, we will get a rankings update to cap off to see where the WITM3 currently stands. Right now, Andrew is WWE Cruiserweight Champion. He is NXT Champion. He is one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions. His overall is a near-perfect 99 and his stats effect, momentum stacked all the way to the max, plus 10. That increases his momentum attributes by 10. Increases his defense attributes by 10. And his overall, I believe, by 3 to 99, a near perfect. As for the rankings... Andrew is Cruiserweight Champion. His number one contender, Noam Dar. Grand Metalik sits at number two. His opponent at Fastlane, Andrade Almas, falls back down to number three. His tag team partner, Austin Aries, sits at number four. And Cedric Alexander sits at number five. And the NXT Championship ranking is very similar. Actually, identical top five. Noam Dar number one, Grand Metz League two, Almas three, Aries four, Alexander five. And for the NXT Tag Championships, the number one contender are Sanity. Number two, the Singh Brothers, formerly known as the Bollywood Boys. At number three, the Revival. Number four, hashtag DIY. And number five is the Golden Truth. Now for the WWE Champion, Corey. WWE Champion. He has no status effects, so he remains at his base overall of 93. As for the rankings, his current number one contender, should he get past Andrew and defend his WWE title at WrestleMania, is former WWE Champion Randy Orton. Former WWE Champion Seth Rollins is number two. Former WWE Champion Jay Styles is number three. And our Continental Champion, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Sheamus is number four. Roman Reigns is number five. As for the Intercontinental Championship rankings, a very different story. Corey at the second from the bottom at number ten. Should Corey be at the bottom... Following WrestleMania, if he is able to defeat Andrew, he will become part of the relegation zone, or the demotion zone. If he's still in that 11th spot in following May's pay-per-view, whatever that will be, he will go down to NXT regardless of what happens between Corey and Andrew at WrestleMania week. So, it's definitely something to keep an eye on there. Of course, if Corey's WWE Champion still, despite being a number 11, then that will be negated. He, he will not. He will stay on SmackDown or by virtue of still being WWE Champion. As for WITM's newest member, Geralt. He 
has yet to debut on Raw. We've seen him so far as a brief appearance in his debut at the Royal Rumble. Hopefully we'll see him make his Raw debut soon. As for the rankings, he is eligible for the United States Championship. And he currently sits at number 13. Alright, so that is going to do it for this edition of DVDs. In the next package, NXT TakeOver London and the Grandest Stage of them all, WrestleMania. And of course, most importantly, the Three Stages of Hell series between former best friends turned rivals, WITM's Corey takes on WITM's Andrew if Corey wins. Andrew will... Leave NXT once he is no longer NXT Champion or NXT Tag Team Champion. And wrestle exclusively on 205 Live. If Andrew wins, Corey will vacate the WWE Championship right before WrestleMania. Or possibly on the day of WrestleMania. He, and he will vacate his position on SmackDown Live. He will go down to NXT... And not just down in NXT, but the very bottom of the rankings. Having to get past 35 plus men to then challenge the NXT champion. Become NXT and become NXT champion in order to earn his spot back on the main roster. So, that does it for episode 166 of WITM. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you're psyched for WrestleMania. I know I am, and we'll see you in episode 167 to kick off the package containing WrestleMania. Until then, this is Corey, signing off.